The protesters, which consist of members of the Committee for the Defense of Human Rights CDHR and some of the street traders converge on Ikeja in the early hours of Thursday, chanting solidarity songs. They condemned the pronouncement of the state governor directing security agencies in the state to enforce a total clampdown on street traders and those who patronize them, saying the policy is an attempt by the state government to further impoverish the residents of the state. In a petition which was addressed to the Speaker, Honorable Mundashiru Obasa, and signed by its Chairman and Secretary, Alex Omotense and Kusimo Olumuiwa, respectively, CDHR said there was need for immediate review of the law by way of showing concerns for the masses. The protesters explained that many market men and women in the state have been subjected to hardship as a result of exorbitant rate for which renovated shops were sold. The group urged the governor of Lagos State and the legislative body to be pro masses and reflect on the economic pains and challenges of the good people of the state who have been patient and tolerant with the federal government policies that tend to reshape Nigeria with the promises of better tomorrow and for now makes life unbearable for the common man in the country. Also speaking, another member of the group, Deji Adebowale, said the law on street trading in the state contravenes the constitution saying the citizens have no other option than to disobey them. While addressing the protesters on behalf of the House, Honorable Sanai Agumbiade, who spoke on behalf of the Speaker, commended the protesters for being careful and taking appropriate steps to seek amendment of the law. He promised that members of the House would look into CDHR's grievances, adding that the process through which the law came into effect would also be applied if there was need to amend it.